Alright, hello YouTube. I am back. Um, I am again mid process of upgrading a QUBD 2 up to improve accuracy and longevity and all that. Uh, I've got everything I think installed. Now it's time to wire it up and play in the software before I just try this thing out. Uh, but I figured I wanted to show you something kind of significant. Um, we'll say it was trimming up the fat of the original design in a sense. Um, you see you see it how it is now, what I've done to it, between the white and the blue parts. The blue is the ABS for the high temp stuff around the extruder and hot end. But let's look over here. All of those parts were part of the build originally. Um, so all that stuff came off. A lot of little parts with the majority of the original extruder made out of wood. And I'm not too big of a fan of wood parts, especially around an extruder but that's just me um, so yeah we definitely or I definitely cut it down and uh, now we're back to something that resembles a little bit more modern design too some rounded corners yay rounded corners uh, with the plastic uh, printed parts as opposed to all the laser cut things that are just hard edges um, I'll get back to you guys once I uh, once I get this all wired up and probably moving around, I did want to point out a few things, a couple things anyway. Um, when I got this kit, it didn't have a fan on it or installed or anything, so I had to wire up a fan. It's there. I ran a couple extra leads. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually put an LED at the end of this thing too, so I can see what's going on when it's printing. Um, I have no idea what length of cable came in the kit for the power leads to the. Um, I just can't see that the power leads to the printer board this guy here but when I got it they were this long you know, maybe three, three and a half inches going right to the positive and negative terminals of the uh, power supply I'm sorry this does not belong that close to the power supply I need some space so I had to extend the cables no big deal again soldering um, I'll let you know how this works out. The guy I bought it from never ever extruded anything. Um, he certainly covered the thing in super glue, probably per the instructions of how to build this originally. But I've broken free most of that. Um, that was mostly around the extruder, hot end, and all that. So got my hardware back from it, and I'm going to probably try printing something here shortly once I get the. Uh, software and electronics all working out. So that's the next update and then we'll go from there. Alright, signing off for now.